Uh, so it looks like here we have some optional uh, combats that we're going to undertake. Because I want you guys to see the new additions we're using before we actually, you know, get into a boss fight. Uh, but I might go about skipping some combats because I've yet to hear in all the games I've been LPing people being upset with that. So let's see Crush Dance. Yes. I, I think it's a really cool one. A bit weak. Uh, at least Dart is maybe. I'm not sure. Wow. Flurry of sticks. Flurry of sticks. And the Hashel is so strong. And then thankfully we don't have to worry about Gust of Wind Dance. Really? You're going to heal yourself like a douchebag. Too bad you're not a duchy. For a second, I thought I missed, but I was like, wait, I don't have to press anything. That's nice. Okay, one, his voice is kind of annoying. Gust of Wind Dance! Uh, like mine might be. I'm sorry for this. <laughs> um, but it's just really cool to just be able to watch that. Uh, now that I think about it, I haven't shown on video Albert doing... Um, well, maybe I did show it. I'm not sure if, if I did show Albert doing um, Rod Typhoon. If I didn't, let me know, and I will... Actually, no, I'll just switch to it real fast so people can see it in case they want to, because it does look different. No, no, I showed it off. I'm almost, I'm nearly positive. So, but if in the case I didn't, let me know and I will show it off. Uh, but yeah, it's, it looks really cool. Like it's faster. He looks like he's actually losing control though, because he swings around on his heels, it looks like. Uh, but I mean, hey, it's what it is, I guess. Well, let's take out this hellhound. Makes me want to play Pokemon and have a hound hour again. Remember, um... When that first came out, what was it Pokemon Silver, I think? Um, I always got the darker color. I don't know why. I got blue when my brother got red. Um, I got silver when he got gold. I got moon recently. Well, I guess whenever it came out. I guess day came out. Um, I skipped the introduction of the DS series, though, because I didn't want to buy a DS. It was actually Final Fantasy Explorers that I got it for, and that game was actually disappointing, but I was like, hey, I get Pokemon. But yeah, I always liked the darker one that, you know, represented night. Um, not dark as in, like, ooh, it's dark, but, you know, it's just, I like those colors. Um, but, yeah, I remember when Hound Doom and Hound Hour came out, I was just like, that's so cool, and then I was like, wait, they're dark type? I mean, they're dark and fire, but I was just fascinated by that. I've always liked uh, what I believe to be the the less loved um, Pokemon types, like Bug has always been my favorite. Love Bug Pokemon. Um, so it looks like I can trick him. Yeah, and get away. Huh. Um, do this right. Oh, wow. He's just that fucking easy, huh? Let him come down. And run. And that's how you avoid Sendora guards, ladies and gentlemen. So they're idiots. They apparently forget you're there. Um, but yeah, I've always loved the, the, those. I love bug Pokemon. When I found, um, I've always loved Poison. Like, I always wanted to use an Ekans. Um, and so, uh, just a few years ago, I finally did, you know, Vulcan with an Otterbuck. Such a cool Pokemon. So cool. Um, and then when Dark came out, I actually was surprised that I didn't care for them. Houndoom and Houndour, however... Uh, were the exception to that rule because, well, they had bones showing on them as part of their armor. I just thought that was amazing. Um, honestly, though, their typing was downfall because I don't really care for fire Pokemon and I don't really care for um, dark. But, you know, I really enjoy it. Um, when I started playing Moon, I really liked... Uh, uh, there was this bug fairy Pokemon. I can't remember what it's called, but it's really, it's adorable. It really is. And so I was really excited about that. And then there was another new Pokemon that was a bug called Grubbin that when you finally evolve it, it gets the electric subtype as well. And I was like, that's so cool, bug electric. Um, I'm not a huge fan of all the Alolan changes 
Um, my Grimer and Muck look stupid. Um, I want my purple Grimer and Muck back. Not that weird crystal and rainbow colored one. But it's whatever. You know, it's neat. Um, I love Execute. I never evolved mine to Executor because why would I want a coconut or a pineapple tree when I can have eggs? Um, that's my way to go. I really want to LP a Pokemon game. I just don't know how to uh, because you know most of the game revolves around combat, and well, for here you see me skipping combats from time to time. Um, we can go up top. That's interesting. One of the difference of that is from going through the, the middle. Like I said in the past, I remember the overarching storyline here, but I don't remember all of the game. Wait, did it really take us nowhere different, just it had a little ramp down? Huh. Maybe that's just a way of avoiding those two guards I need to cough. I think that's what that is. Like, you could play a super pacifist run here, so there's... Elevator? Maybe not. Doesn't work. Oh, oh, bugger. I wanted to avoid them. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I really want to LP a Pokemon game. I just don't know how. I know Mage Master did, I want to say, Leaf Green. And so I started watching that, but I didn't finish it. I didn't get too far. Um, I think that was in the beginning when I started watching LPs in the first place. So that was probably a bad one to start with. I then moved to Final Fantasy IX and was like, I'm hooked. Um, but I think I want to watch that and see how he went about it. Um, something, you know, show all trainer battles, but not every random encounter. Because for some reason I thought I was, I was Albert at the moment, so I screwed that up. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm just not sure. So I'm going to watch that. You know, I'm also going to read the comments and see what its views are like to see what its success was. As well as maybe just ask him and try to get in contact with a few other um, YouTubers of Pokemon and see what their opinions are. Uh, and then probably end up doing Soul Silver because Soul was. Or sorry, Silver was. Um, aside from the base game of, you know, red, yellow, and uh, green, or red, blue, whatever. Um, I liked green, leaf green the most because you know, it looked better and it was in color. Uh, that was my favorite, but silver was my favorite aside from that. Uh, so I think that's what I want to do. I have Soul Silver. I have a, a DS emulator. Uh, I just need to test it out, make sure it's you know not like a freeze fest or anything. Uh, and that's what I would do. Um, unless you know, there was a quest for like X or Y, I would do X because that's a preferred letter, I guess. Um, or black or white. Whichever, which one has Turtwig, the turtle guy? I've always wanted to play that one just because he's adorable. I have a thing for grass Pokemon as well. Um, almost always pick them. But yeah, that's something I would like to do in the future. I just need to do a little research to do it properly. Um, okay, this looks down. Um, can I interact with this? The inside of the darkened... The inside is darkened by soot. They burnt something in here. Okay, I guess I need to... Find something to burn? Like, can't. Ooh, ooh, what is this? I guess they wanted it too. What is this? And who's that fella down there on the left? And we're getting the, the evil mystery music. You are. Hmm. Green Flame Researcher. Are you here to see my research? Or... To visit me? Either way, we are pleased. We like it when the mercenaries like you have an interest in our research. So it's green and white. Then. Okay. Indeed. Recently, barbaric suicidal attacks have become common. But if our research is successful, it will reduce the casualties of war. For example, that white flame, please tell me it heals, has a healing power. And that green flame isn't extinguished by water. When we put it to practical use, it will provide an advantage in war. Hmm. Oh, that's bright. But I've never seen such technologies. It's like magic. 
We don't need to know about that. There are already enough of us involved in this uh, uh, cursed research. Yes, your job is to fight. There are too many things we don't know about this power. If you get involved too much, you might end up like Mr. Magi. It's, t it's too late for that guy. We have to complete this research before it's too late for Sindora. I see. I will end the war, but can we ask you a little more? For example, what kind of function does this purple flame serve? This flame is the power source of the castle. The purple flame drives the elevators and lifts. It helps people's lives. That's the proper way of usage. The war decides the usage now. Yes, even if this technology could be used for the happiness of people, once it is used wrongly, it may bring unhappiness. What we are making may bring unhappiness to the people in Basile. I agree. This research is, after all, based on the calamity caused by the dragon. War creates catastrophe. It's a sad thing for both the people and the dragon. Dragon? Dragon's involved in this research? Oh, I slipped my tongue. Forget what I said. Now, back to the research. Let me give you some magic oil. This is the fuel for the purple flame. It gives you mobility. Oh, that's good. Alrighty. If you want to be, if you want to be healed, come visit me anytime. Thank you very much. It was very useful. Hmm. That is a bit of a worry. Let's uh get ourselves healed, I suppose. I guess we gotta talk to him. Want to be healed, don't you? Fine. Slowly close your eyes. Nah. Fuck! Oh, I hate that that light. Well, back to research. Um, okay. Let's go see these bookshelves, maybe? See if they have anything interesting to teach us. No? I'm gonna assume the same on the other side, but we're gonna check anyway. Alright, no chest, nothing. I guess we might as well check out this, uh, one directly next to us. Light it up, and we go down, it looks like. This is a uh, different place. Nobody can become happy without making somebody else unhappy. That is the universal truth. That's not true at all, actually. We are just studying the principles of magic of Emperor Dole. What is that up top? Is that a drag? Right here looks kind of like a face, and the other side looks like claws. And something's definitely hanging. I, this is not something I've ever noticed before. Holy crap. I think as a kid I thought it was just like plants or decay or moss or whatever. Okay, what is this place? What the? Hmm. Looks like we get across, but that we might be. Ah, that's risky. Okay, that's... Can I get up? Hmm, garbage is full. I better dispose of it. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, items! Worth the fault. Wow, this garbage looks disgusting. It doesn't look like garbage. It looks like entrails. Trans light. It's probably a light spell. I'm surprised we didn't run to any monsters down there, to be honest. Um, so I think we have to get across here somehow. Oh, well, not somehow, but just, you know, kind of. Oh, what? Oh, what a big rat. No! no I'm not a rat! Oh, fuck all. Okay, so maybe that meant we had to hide? Ah... <sighs> Round three, fight! Hopefully we can get it down. Like, do we seriously look like a rat? I mean, what the hell's wrong with this guy? Okay. 
way, sir. No! Bugger all! Okay. I'm just gonna cut to the successful one. Woohoo! We made it! We made it! That was tough. And it's for a red stone. Huh. I wonder if that's like a required item. Let's go over here. Nothing. Um, goods? Oh, okay. Redstone kept by the janitor of Black Castle. Okay, so cool. We found something we needed. Oh, it's dangerous and you cannot come in. Although I give you credit for making it through, I only have garbage, but make yourself at home. How about you just don't activate? Dude, you, we just talked. We just spoke. Come on. Are you going to, like, try to squish me again or something? Come on. Yeah, we made it. All right. Whew. All right, so I guess we did what I like to do, come in the wrong way first, which turns out to be the right way for discovery, but in this case, even more so because, well, we got a key item out of it, which, out of it, which is probably essential for, you know, progression in this castle anyways. Uh, ooh, just popped my neck, and it felt good. Uh, now do we want to take the left lift or the straight forward one? Probably the left lift. I'd assume the straightforward one is, uh, you know, right way material because it's into the fucking castle. Oh, hi, guy. You know, for how much of, um, I mean, it's not a time, but for how much of, like, British slang and dialect I've picked up over the years from watching so much uh, British television and what have you and listening to different out peers from the UK, it surprises me how bad that I don't even have like a decent grip on you know doing a faux yes. accent which is sad uh, to be fair I think in this game it's harder than anything because I feel like it's a relatively rough translation into English to where it just doesn't often read well even when I'm speaking my own voice it just it's hard to read the dialogue of this game out loud because it just doesn't feel natural I don't know why. I think it's just a poor translation, maybe. Um, this is a game that was in direct competition with Final Fantasy VII. Uh, this is not a square game. Uh, so, you know, less money uh, was probably put in. I know that, at least at the time, Final Fantasy VII was the most expensive video game ever made. Um, and I, I don't think that this had the means of competition. But either or, I think it's a phenomenal game, and it, it makes me sad when I find out that people don't know about it or have never played it, um, if they have heard about it. Because it's, it's like Chrono Cross to me. It really deserves far more attention than it's ever received. Um, but oh well, you know. Oh well. Maybe this LP will inspire, hell, one person to watch this or to play it themselves. Uh, at this point, you know, I'm not even like, oh, we gotta help fucking help with the sales. No, fucking download your ROM. I don't give a shit. Um, it's just the legacy of the game that I want to see uh, supported. Because this is a game that, with how the story goes, there is potential for a sequel. Uh, that's, you know, just in the same universe, just years and years later. Hell, you could do years and years before, because there is some history in this game that they could bloody well cover better or in more detail that you will we will experience. So who is this guy that kinda looks like he has a face of a spider? You who are you? I know. You are thieves who've come to steal my magic. Wait, we are no excuse. Watch out. We don't know what the hell what he'll do. Let him. Seems interesting. Take this, the steel shirt vacuum blade. Um pardon? Why? Why doesn't the magic work? Why doesn't it shear them? It's worse than I thought. That was still under research. I'll show you this. Take the rock crushing thunder arrow. I think this might be with uh, the guy, the Dr. Magi they were talking about. I see. 
You are the researcher who is too late, aren't you? Then Mr. Magi is? Hmm. Those dumb researchers of trashy stuff said something to you, didn't they? Leave us alone. We're not here to criticize your research. Shut up! I have already made the discovery. The secret of a magic that those losers will never even hope to know. The magic of transformation can only be known by someone like myself who completely understands the magical power of dragons. I'll show it to you now! Cerberus, emerge! Seems real this time. Oh, fuck, is it real this time? Oh, thank goodness. That was a good trick. Oh, it's a little doggy. Well, I mean, he did do magic, just not in the way he wanted. I wonder, is this dog Mr. Magi? I guess it requires more research to be controlled by humans. But at least in the end, he amused us. I mean, she's not wrong. Well, let's, uh, squander this chest. Quite a blue stone. Alrighty, sorry to, about your, uh, uh, I don't want to say this. Sorry about your, uh, gone completely shit uh, transformation, Mr. Magi. Magi, Magi, not sure. Um, but I think we needed both those stones, obviously. So now I feel quite comfortable going forward. Uh, so we are going to kill these bad guys. And I am getting hungry. I have some more of my pasta that I made in the fridge, but I also made some tikka masala yesterday. It was my first time ever making an Indian dish, and I am rather pleased with how it came out. It's a little more tart than I'd prefer, so I'm going to do some uh, shifting around with the spices, but I'm quite pleased with how the dish came out. Serving it over uh, jasmine rice because I don't really see any reason to eat any other kind of rice. I know, white rice isn't the healthiest, blah blah blah, but guess what? Jasmine rice tastes the damn best, and uh, brown rice can go suck a nut. Uh, even though I bought some brown rice like a month ago and I've yet to cook it. Um, I want to make like a Spanish rice, um, so I need to I need to look up a recipe for that, because I've never actually made uh, Spanish style rice, so... Weird, because I've eaten it most of my life living uh, in El Centro. Um, which again is right on the border of Mexico for anyone that hasn't heard me say that um, in Southern California. But yeah, I've had that kind of rice my whole life, so I just need to figure out you know what's the recipe. Plus, I've never cooked rice outside of my little Japanese rice cooker, so that'll be that'll be new. I'm nearly positive that Spanish rice is cooked in a pan uh, with simmering and what have you involved with tomato sauce. But we'll see eventually. Uh, I am on a nice little break right now, though. I don't go back into work until Thursday. It's currently Friday, so that's lovely. I'm off school for five weeks, so that's also lovely. I don't return till September 10th or 8th, something like that. Um, so, yeah. I was like, you know what? This is a perfect time to make a huge fucking dent in both this and Legend of Gaia, as well as possibly finish off the main story arc of Skyrim. Um, cause I don't know what I'm going to do with that LP, to be honest. If I'm going to continue it after the main quest, am I going to do, um, Dawn Guard? Am I going to do, um, hmm, let's go bug those guys that are training. Am I going to do Dragonborn? Um, just because doing it as an RP is not as fun as I thought it'd be. Invaders, you had such good luck sneaking into the practice center, didn't you? Catch him! Um, yeah, RPing is not as fun as I thought it would be. Uh, just because I'm very limited. Um, it's not as fun to RP alone, is really the main thing. I'm used to role playing with other people in D&D game where it's not just me essentially talking to um, nobody. You know, like, I have Yizik reply to Lydia, things that I uh, fashioned her saying in my head, but they're not actually said, and I don't have the uh, voice acting skill or even the, the time, really. Um, and I'll even say probably not even have the talent to incorporate more dialogue than just myself. I don't have the editing knowledge nor um, awareness for that, so I just 
I don't necessarily want to continue that for too long. I want to continue playing Skyrim, but maybe not. The these guys are unbelievable. Don't think we are Knights of Sindora, so just defeat them. Yeah, we have the King of Basil. So shut it. But yeah, so I just don't know. I think once we f we fell Alduin, that might be Yizik's retirement. I'm just not sure. Because whenever I do play it, I'm having a ton of fun. It's just thinking about it outside is stressful. I am loving his playstyle, though, you know, unarmed, uh, using a lot of dragon shouts. Never done that before, using dragon shouts, really, because they're kind of useless for the most part. Uh, but with a mod I got um, that allows them to become stronger because it puts shouts into the speech tree, like fucking should. Um, yeah, and I haven't even gotten to them yet, because they're actually quite high on the skill tree. But that just means that once I get further into the game, they will remain viable. Um, I'm using a lot of Fire Breath right now, and I really think it's really cool. Plus, that mixed with the uh, Meditating on the Word of Fire with Parthenox to make it stronger. Pretty cool. Pretty strong, I should say. Uh, am I the last one? But I won't give up. Hey, I gotta give it to you, man, for not giving up. Uh, you should have. <laughs> you really should have. But... I'll fail you quickly. He should have attacked me all at once. It would have saved me a lot of time, actually. He probably would have done some damage to me at that point. Uh, just because of attack economy. But yeah, you, you, all, you all went in one at a time. And that's just not not recommended. I'm curious why is Dart so weak? Um, I thought Crush Dance was stronger than the damage it's doing. I mean, I know he doesn't have the power wrist on anymore. Oh, but does anyone really need that fucking um, phantom shield on right now, though? That's probably just good enough to be saved for boss fights. Well, we took care of that. Yes, we did. Uh, maybe his addition is just really weak right now. 195. I guess we're used to Volcano, but that's being compared to uh, 186. At two, uh, 240. Oh, that's strong. All right, tank. I uh, don't know where that goes, but let's look over here first. Okay. Wish I had a map to this place. I wonder if I have a map in the back of this guide. Not really sure. Let's take out this hellhound. And... Yeah, crush damage is super easy. Um, which I don't mind whatsoever. Because... It, it's... I'm... I don't know. Man. I don't always do good at these, you know? You've seen that. So it's really nice to have just a very easily executed one, doesn't have any fast moving parts, to where when a counter does come up, it's, well, rather simple to counter, or to not have an issue with. Well, it's easy to defend, I should say. And it's really nice to just see Gust of Wind Dance, and it's really cool to see a, a spear in play. Um, like, I want to use Rose, but I'm not going to get rid of Hashel because he's one of my favorite characters. And I want to just keep using Albert for now, uh, especially considering he's got some pretty big ties to the location we're at. I mean, he is the king of the warring nation, so just having him here just feels right. It feels very accurate to have him be a part of this. Um, where are we going? Whoa, you look different. You look like the guy that attacked us in Hoax uh, right before Congol. Remember the guy that could, like... Uh, split into three and he throw chains at us or whatever. Yeah, it looks like that. Sandora Elite. And Hashel's second one only having two buttons to it and being as strong as it is. Pretty impressive. Ah, oh, he's throwing ninja stars at me. Well, let's show him what happens when you throw ninja stars at old men. Young men attack you! In defense of the elderly! And... 
king? You how did you not go yet, you slowpoke? Really? Wow, he's really slow. Ashel's just going again. That's fine with me though, because I would like to up uh, Flurry of Sticks. Wow, Albert didn't get a go at all because he's fucking slow. Um, if I remember properly though, as Lavitz, his strength goes up more as you level, and as Albert, his speed goes up more. So I think he starts to become a more balanced character. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. I don't really know where we're going either. Take this ferry over, I guess, to wherever. Yeah, this is a rather big place. I'm really glad there are no random encounters here because that would be a bit much. Are you a. Uh, workers are saying all sorts of things, but I believe in Emperor Dole. You should not. I actually don't know what we're making, but this must be something to do with the war. It probably is. White flames, green flames, and purple flames are all just made for the war. They're not something that can make us happy. What about this old guy? I don't know. Let's loot these two chests. A spear frost, okay. And a spirit ring. Mm. Of course Dole will use the magic for the war. Can we get across there? Probably not. Let's see what this spirit ring does. It probably regenerates spirit every round. Uh, but I'd like to be sure. Covers SP each round, or each turn. Now, if we had one that did that with MP, oh, that'd be lovely. Um, even though the majority of magic in this game is items, but, you know, um, you use a lot of magic in... Well, I'd like to use a lot of magic in Dragoon form, but I get really stingy with my MP, which is silly, really. Um, let's see where this leads to. Ooh, chest. Spinning Gale, very good. So it looks like we've come quote unquote wrong way, which is fantastic. Uh, meaning we picked up loot, but did not progress the story, which again, I keep saying it, but it's what you want to do in an RPG. It's, it really is. If you don't approach an RPG with an exploratory um, attitude, it's I find it weird. I mean, obviously everyone plays their own way. Is this where we came in? Obviously everyone plays their own way, but in my opinion, that's the right way to go about it, is to see everything the game wants you to see. And, you know, look for the things that they want to be difficult. Is there really nothing in here? I'm spamming the X button. Who are you? Woman of Item Shop. Woman of Item Shop. See what I mean by weird translations? It's not wrong, it's just that's not how people talk. Meteor Fall? We don't have any of those, so let's just buy one because I would like to see it. Uh, let's go in here. Ooh, a chest. Beast, ooh, Beast Fang, that sounds like something for Hashel. Um, should be a weapon for him. Yep. Wow. Uh, that is a, an 11 difference, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. Oh, see, imagine missing that because you were just goal-oriented. That would be sad. Um, okay, so this is the training area, so, yeah, so we've gone full circle, and now we just need to go up, I believe, unless there was more to the right that I don't remember, I don't think so, oh, hi, sir, don't mind me, I'm just trying to loot your loot, is that the guy from the beginning of the game, we're here, girl from Celis. That is. You said the girl from Celis? I'm trying to remember his voice from the cutscene. You you took me away from t to Helena. Indeed. I am the one who was sold to Celis under the orders of Emperor Dole. So, you killed everyone. That was done by the brutal unit loyal to Frugal. I wouldn't let them kill necessarily if, it were there, if I were there. Good. Good man. Anyway, it doesn't change the fact that Imperial Sindora scorched Celis. If you want revenge for your home, you can draw your sword against me. But please do me one last favor. Uh, His Majesty Dole changed after a man called Lloyd showed up. He must have instilled something into the Emperor Dole, a demonic word that ignites his desire to vanquish. You were able to make it here, so you might be able to do it. I beg you, wake Emperor Dole up. Huh. Good man. Do you understand the result? Yes. If you 
can accomplish that, the Imperial Sindora's dominance will end, and, the even, and we even might be defeated by Basile. But the result will be the same if the current oppression of Emperor Dole continues. So, we might as well make it happen faster and remove the hardships on our people. If there's a man like this in Sindora, Labus would be happy to hear this. So, are you in? That's what we're here for. I'm relieved to hear that. Now, take this with you. Another stone, a yellow one. What is this? It's the key to the chamber of Emperor Dole. Hmm. Hurry up. We have no time. Okay. Curious how to get to that other uh, area that we're obviously seeing. Uh, maybe this one can go up as well. Let's check that out. I can, and it can. Very cool. Good to check things out. All right. 